it was, it was extra fun because it was so spontaneous. Yes, that's a little Steven, a.k.a. Steven Van Zandt, who you may recognize from Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band, or The Sopranos, or The Irishman, or his solo work. He is talking about his new live concert, Macca to Mecca, that is a live tribute to the Beatles recorded at the famed Cavern Club. I kind of got into, into the whole Beatle mood from the first show of that tour when Paul McCartney joined us on stage. Yes, the Sir Paul McCartney joined him on stage. The artist that little Stevie grew up idolizing surprised him on stage after being so impressed by Van Zandt's band that he joined them for the last song. We're taking the encore bow and my roadie runs up and says, Paul's coming on. <laughs> I was like, uh, <laughs> oh my God. Um, and he came on with a guitar. And he'd never rehearsed it with us and didn't have any idea what we were going to do. And, you know, uh, that kind of faith is amazing. You know, that, that, that's what I call, uh, you know, blind faith. For fans of rock and roll, they know this isn't the first time he shared the stage with McCartney. But this time it was even more meaningful for him. To have, you know, one of my biggest heroes. I mean, honestly, it's beyond heroes, you know, um, but but. Uh, to join me on stage and, and endorse my music and my band. You know, we he had come on stage with the E Street Band, which was wonderful uh, at Hyde Park, and, um, and invited me and Bruce on stage with him at Madison Square Garden, you know, and, and, and those things were great. But um, to have him actually endorse my, my music and my band and come on my stage, Wow, man, that was something. Well, Stephen is proud of his work on the stage as an artist, which includes being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. One of his proudest accomplishments is helping create a curriculum called Teach Rock, which keeps the arts in the DNA of every school system in North America. I actually feel obligated to do it. I feel, you know, it's really unfair when I look around at what these kids are growing up with right now. It's it's pathetic, frankly. It's It's sad, you know? The program is aimed at helping children be engaged, encouraged, and inspired when learning, while being introduced to legendary musical moments of the past. Let's just make it accessible and make it available. Let's make sure that the arts are integrated. Why? Because that makes the kids learn better and, and, and more enthusiastic, and eventually it's going to affect the dropout rate. During the pandemic, he says it's even more important to engage children with music, and almost half a million people have downloaded the Teach Rock resources in 2020 alone. Lindsay Dunn, City News.